Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can install MAMP on Mac OS. So maybe let's say you want to learn how you can build WordPress websites offline without necessarily having to buy domain name or hosting. This is the right thing for you to do because it's going to save you a lot of money and it's going to save you a lot of time. So all you need is this map on your laptop and then you can use it to build different websites offline. So if this is the first time that you are joining me on this channel, please like this video so that all the people can see it. And remember to subscribe and turn up notification so that anytime I post videos like this, you will be the first to know about it. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So the first thing you want to do is to search for MAMP. So once you search for MAMP, you're going to see the website here. Just click on it. So just click on this download and then you'll be able to download it on your desktop. So in this case, I'll download it on my desktop. Once you have downloaded it, go to your browser again and just search for download WordPress. So it will bring you to wordpress.org and then you click on download. And then once you're here, just click on this download WordPress 6.7.1. In your case, maybe by tomorrow, WordPress might have the latest version. Just download the WordPress that is here. That is the latest version. So in this case, I would download it to my desktop as well. So these are the two important files that you need in order to install MAMP or WordPress locally on your laptop. So the next thing you're going to do is to go to this, your download, and then I'll go to the folder so that I will know where exactly it's downloaded to. So here, I'll just click on, double click on it so that it will unzip the file. So once you unzip it, it's going to show here. So the next thing you want to do is to double click on it and it will show you this options. Just click on open. Now it will say download again. I don't know why that is the case, but it's a new way to um, install map on your laptop. So click on download and it's going to start downloading it. Right, so that took some time to download. But after it finished downloading, you'll just see this screen pop up and all you need to do is just click on continue. So you read this and after reading, you just click on continue. And this is their license agreement as well. You can read them and then click on continue. So it says, do you agree? I'll just say, yes, I agree. And then I'll click on install. Now it's gonna require that I impute my password for some weird reason. So I'm just gonna put in my password and then I'll click on install software. Right, congratulations, you just successfully installed MAMP on your laptop. But that's not all. Now we need to now install WordPress, okay? So the next thing you wanna do, just click on close. It says move to Bing. You can decide to keep it or move to Bing. So the next thing you wanna do is to go to application. And once you are on application, you see we have MAMP and MAMP Pro. What you wanna do is click on this MAMP, open it, double click on it. And then you see there's a folder called htdocs. Just double tap on it. And then you see that this folder is empty. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, you know, the WordPress that we downloaded. So if I come here, you can just take me to where it is. So this is a WordPress file that we downloaded. So I'm just going to double tap on it so that it will unzip the file. So we have, let me arrange this by kind so that we have the folder. So where is it? So this is the WordPress folder, all right? So now what you wanna do is, you know, copy this WordPress folder, just drag it inside of the htdocs file, right? Make sure it is there. So once you're done with that, close it. The next thing you wanna do is to go to, um, so just go back. So if you come here, you will see map, all right? Just open it. And then once you open it, you will see that you will see this interface here. Then the next thing you want to do is click on start. So once you click on start, it will now start the MAMP 
application for you. Once you click on start, just go to web start and then it will bring you to this place. Now, the, what you want to do next is click on this my SQL, right? My SQL. And then you will see that we have port name is this. We have root. We have username as root. We have password as root. So what you want to do next is click on this PHP my admin. And then once you get here, the only thing you want to do here is you want to create a database for your WordPress. Okay. Then click on database. Then here you're going to type WordPress. All right. After you're done with this, just click on create database. And the database is now created as you can see it here. That's all you needed. So you can close this and then go to, you know, from here, you can just go to my site. Sometimes the site will just display this because of course, because of the kind of database that we've created. So what you want to do is, you know, click this URL, just put slash WordPress there. And then click on OK. So this is now where you are not going to start setting up your WordPress. So you can choose your language, which is going to be English. And then the next thing you want to do is click on let's go. So here it says welcome. Before I get started, you need to know the following items. So you need all of this, which I showed you earlier. All right. Just click on let's go. And then here, uh, of course, the database name is WordPress. The username, you know, is root, just like we saw earlier. Here too will be root. Please, this is root. It's the same thing as the database name that we created earlier. All right. So just leave the other ones as they are and then click on submit. And then they will, uh, it's, this is just Google telling me about password protection. Then the next thing I want to do is just click on run the installation. So here I'm just going to put in the title of my website. I'm just going to say demo, uh, whatever name that you want to use. Okay. Here username, I would just use Suratius or Shalom at you either way. This password, I can just leave it this way. And here I'm just going to put an email address. It's important that you use an email address so that if you lose your password and you want to change it so that you can easily change it. I can decide to change this password as well. So I just change that password and I'm just going to click on install WordPress. And voila, your WordPress is now installed. The next thing you want to do is click on login. So this is the login that we just created. It's different from the database password. Okay, so here I'm just going to say Suratius, remember, and then I'll put in my password. And then I'll click on login. Wow, you've now installed WordPress successfully on your laptop. So I can just come here and, you know, open the front end. This is the back end of the website where you'll be editing, uploading different things, building website. And this is the front end. So this is the current version of WordPress that we installed. Now, the next thing you want to do is you can come to your settings and then, you know, make sure that everything here is okay. And for example, permalinks, you know, you can make it at post name and you're good to go. Now, there are times that if you go to media, right, maybe you want to upload something, right, and you see that the maximum file upload is 8 MB, all right, and you're wondering, how can I increase this? In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can increase this file. So watch the next video here that will be showing on your screen. Or check the link in the description on how you can increase the maximum upload file size for MAMP on any platform. If you got value from this video, please like this video so that other people can see it. And remember to subscribe and turn up notifications so that anytime I post videos like this, you'll be the first to know about it. Just one more thing. There are certain people that would need this video. So why not share this video right now to them? And let them know about this so that they will be very grateful to you as well. I look forward to seeing you on the other side.